Well, this is December here in the UK, and we're in the middle of the game shooting season at the moment. Most of the grounds left undisturbed, so the squirrels have got a bit of an easy life at the moment. Unfortunately for me, although there's a lot of food on the ground that's attracting the squirrels, the ground has to be left undisturbed this time of year, so that the pheasants can roam freely and pick up what they want. It's attracting the squirrels, it's attracting pheasants, it's attracting jays, it's attracting wood pigeons by the hundred. In fact, it was the wood pigeons that first drew my attention to this spot. I drove past here last week and there must have been 200 feeding and they all took off and I caught them out of the corner of my eye. So I've come back here today just to video and just see what's about. At the moment I'm looking at about 14 squirrels running between the various stands of oak trees and they're playing amongst the pheasants and there's plenty of other stuff about feeding. Uh, it looks quite good for the coming season which I should start in February. I'll put a couple of feeders up on these trees here. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get my car close to them but uh, I can put a little camouflage pop-up hide here and it won't be too far from where I've got to park the car so I can manage that. Some of you may already know that my legs aren't too good nowadays. I'm, I'm getting old and doddery so I do most of my shooting from the car. I've got that kitted out inside with uh, boards and sandbags and I can generally shoot with pretty near bench rest precision and it gets me around uh, the animals don't seem to notice it too much but this is a little awkward spot I mean I can drive off the road but it's fairly open and quite close to the trees I've, I've got nothing to hide the car in any way uh, it could stick out like a sore thumb squirrels are quite intelligent creatures and they do tend to notice things that shouldn't be there uh, generally I try and get a hedgerow behind the car and I also put camouflage netting around the inside to stop my silhouette movement being seen. But, uh, as you can see, we're quite close to the main road here. But uh, I would have to drive in through the gate and park up the other side there. There's a bit of a hedge, but not too much. As you can see, it's not just the pheasants and squirrels that the acorns are attracting carrion crows, we've got jays coming down, we've got jackdaws, there's a whole lot of wildlife around here at the moment. There won't be quite so much squirrel activity in February, but they will come out to dig up the nuts that they've buried, and if my feeders are on the tree they'll see those, and rather than just go around hunting, digging up nuts and acorns, they'll go for the feeders with the corn in. I know it's not quite so interesting for us hunting types to just see videos of squirrels running around but at least it bodes well for the summer and we should be able to get a fair bit of shooting on the video then. A group of jackdaws. They're just squirrels everywhere at the moment. They're very very busy trying to stock up for the winter. It's a good time to spot them. Of course during the month of February as well we'll be shooting the pigeons as they come in to roost in the evenings into the woods. We can make good bags there, so anything from about 60 to 150 birds. We don't do it all that often, perhaps once a week, once a fortnight at the most. It gives the birds a chance to settle in between. As you can see this stand of trees is quite away from the road, so if I put my car over the other side it would stand out quite well and I think it might disturb the squirrels so we'll have to come up with something for that.
I'm not quite sure what the jackdaws are finding. I wouldn't have thought they'd be eating the acorns, but you never know. They does seem to be attracting a lot of them down here. They're quite a gregarious bird and they do like to be where a lot of other birds are, so it may just be the company they're craving. I really can't believe I never noticed this spot before. It is absolutely loaded with squirrels. I'm sure I'm going to get a good bit of a sport here come February and March. And the old jay gone up into the branch. Beautiful looking birds. We tend not to shoot too many of them over here. Most of them are left in peace. An occasional one that's actually robbing the hoppers. We'll have a go at or hunting out nests. But uh, most of the time they're left in peace. Well, I apologise for the fact that we haven't had any shooting on the video today, but as I hopefully we'll have some during the summer months.